What's up, everybody? It's your boy Reezy bringing you that fresh content again today. Um, in this video, we showcase a team of Alteria, Shadow Machamp, and Jirachi. Right now, uh, I am pretty obsessed with the core of Shadow Machamp and Jirachi. So, I mean, I think I'm going to ride this way out for the rest of Great League. Um, it's been working pretty awesome right now. I mean, we are at the end of rank seven. Really, really, really close to hitting rank eight. I think we're probably maybe like a set away from hitting rank eight. Um, so I think I'm gonna ride this team out. I mean, it covers the grass hole team easily. Um, I haven't had any issues with that team. Govantua stands no chance against this team as well. And so the only thing that I think we're really um that gives this team trouble is fairies in the back. But there are not many uh uh fairies besides a zoom rule like you don't see charmers and so i'm not concerned and and pretty much in this video you'll see what happens when there's a charmer uh in the lead <laughs> but i'm not going to spoil too much but i will say that we do go four and one this set and then we went 18 and seven uh for the entire uh day's battle so i mean that's that's pretty impressive that's pretty impressive i mean we have multiple four and one sets but I, I, I try my best to get that 5-0, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so, without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so let's get back into this first video. All right, so we lead off with Altaria, and we run into a Beedrill. Uh, excellent lead here. They swap out into Glare and Stunfish, and we immediately swap into Shadow Machamp, and we just ride the well on this man. I mean, that, he has no chance against me. Uh, we immediately throw the cross shot. Boom, it lands, and then we farm down. He doesn't even have a chance to throw any type of move. Beedrill comes back, and so at this point, I'm just going to just chip away at it, uh, throwing cross chops, getting shields, which is amazing right now. He can throw whatever he wants at me. It's fine. I'm just going to come right back in with Alteria. I could come back in with Jirachi as well if I wanted to, but I'm just going to keep that matchup with Alteria going. <clears throat> and we're just dragging breath it down. Uh, he throws a, um, a charge move. I'm thinking it's a X scissor and it's a sludge bomb. He caught me off guard. I'm not going to lie. He swaps into a zoom room. And then I immediately throw uh, the Sky Attack just to kind of soften it up a little bit, swap it to my Jirachi, and then I just get to it. Um, confusion, confusion, confusion. The only thing I'm worried about is Hydro Pump, but and, and that's the reason for me shielding. I just didn't know, and it's a play rough, but that's okay. I'm not. I, I mean, I, I'm, I don't care. Uh, so we throw this Doom Desire, and we get the last shield, which is perfect. And then we get to another Doom Desire before they get to another Charge move. And so we take out this Azumarill with this Doom Desire, boom. And it's all she wrote after this. All we have to do is Confusion down at this point and the game is over and they surrender. That's a GG, definitely a GG. So easy win right there. Um, you know, winning the lead helps a lot in these matches. I'm not gonna lie, when you win the lead, you have a, a pretty good opportunity to win the game. <clears throat> all right, next match. We run into a Porygon. I don't know why they feel like this community thing works. So right here, I swap into my Shadow Machamp against their um, Sableye. I'm not realizing that <laughs> um, he resists the fighting type moves, but I, I, I'm, I'm in it now, so I don't care. At this point, I'm stuck, so I throw a cross chop. He does shield, so that works out for me. And then I throw another cross chop. Um, hoping to get the last shield, but he lets this one go through. And that's cool. I am going to double up my shields and I'm going to form down from here. And I don't think he can get to another charge move. That's, that's great. All right, so here, I'm like, I'm just throw this move. I don't even get a chance to really throw a move against the Porygon. So Porygon stays in, he's just lock, lock, using lock on. I mean, I go for my sky attack. <clears throat> if this goes through, I'm assuming that it's going to take it out. Uh, and then he shields and bails into a zoom roll. We've seen this matchup before. And so I'm just praying at this point that it's not a hydro pump, but he throws really early. So I know it's not a hydro pump. So it's a play rough. That's cool. I can eat a play rough and probably eat a second one as well. So we go for the psychic because shields are down. Um, it hits a little bit harder and his defense drops, which is perfect. He does get off another charge move. I thought it was an ice beam, but it happens to be play rough. 
But since his defense is already um, softened, we are just going to Dragon Breath it all the way down. And then he comes back in with Porygon. And well, no, actually he doesn't. He quits too. And that's the GG. So back-to-back -back surrenders. I mean, anytime you make your opponent surrender, hey, I mean, it's always, it feels good. It definitely does. It doesn't feel good when I'm surrendering, but it definitely feels good when you make somebody else surrender. All right, going into the third match. Going to this third match, we are met with a shift tree. We are going to stay in this matchup. It's fine. They swap out into Skarmory, and we are going to stay. This is one of those situations where if you know you have a Pokemon in the back, that can be something that they switch out from. Stay. If you think you can win that matchup. I knew I can win this matchup with um, Skarmory. <clears throat> I'm not concerned here. Because I was already ahead on energy. Even though it's a bad. It's not really a bad matchup. It's, it's not the easiest matchup. I'm just going to do what I do. Um, so. And I just throw Sky Attacks. He doesn't shield at all. And then here I am going to use the shield. Because I realize that I can take this match. And he can't get to another charge move before he's Dragon Breath down. Boom. He's out of the way. It's fine with me. He comes back in with Shift Tree. That's cool. <clears throat> I'm not going to shield anything. It's fine with me. You throw what he wants. And he throws a Leaf Blade. Bad mistake right there. It's because I get to another Sky Attack. So, I get the Sky Attack ready. Load it up. And I he, uh, he gets... Well, he shields there. I come in with Shadow Machamp. And he swaps into... Uh, Quillfish and not realizing that Quillfish is half poison and my confusing user Jirachi is just going to melt it away boom just like that and I have a Doom Desire ready to go he has to shield this if he wants to survive and he does I get the last shield it's cool and I get to another Doom Desire because he's trying to form me down and it's not working Okay, bad mistake. Just throw the charge move. Give yourself a fighting chance. Otherwise, it's going to be another GG. Okay, right now we're three and zero, oh, and we are rolling, and it's fine. I'm I'm, I'm liking this team a lot, man. I'm telling y'all. All right, so here we go. Next battle. Um, again, leading off with Arteria running into Hypno. Now this is a little tricky because. You never know what Hypno is going to be running. They could be running Thunder Punch, Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, Thunder Punch, Shadow Ball. <clears throat> it could be anything. So I throw Sky Attack. He shields. That lets me know that he's trying to protect something in the back from Alteria. Uh, so I get to another Sky Attack. And I'm like, all right, bet. He's already weak. He shields again. So I have both shields. At this point, I'm like, man, this dude probably does have Ice Punch. He, like, he has to have Ice Punch. He throws a Fire Punch, okay? Gets a shield. So I'm like, all right, cool, it's fine. All right, this time, it has to be, he's like, he has to be playing mind games with me. He throws another Fire Punch, and I've used both, both of my shields. And here I'm like, all right, bet. Alteria is done for, it's definitely, nope, it's another Fire Punch. So he got both of my shields, um, <clears throat> and I should have never shielded it, but it's okay. He comes in with Drapion. And I go ahead and throw uh, the Sky Attack. It goes through, obviously. And I swap immediately to Shadow Machamp. And wait for the Charge move to come through. I know it's not going to KO me, whatever it is. Just the Aqua Tail. It's fine. He swaps out into Pimplup. Piplup. I think that's how you say it. And I throw a Cross Chop it immediately. Boom. It lands. And then he doesn't stand a chance against me because I have another Cross Chop ready. Didn't want to take a chance and farm down. Um, so that's out the way and Drapion comes back in and we just form it down and the game is over. Jirachi didn't even have a chance to see the field in this game. So we're moving right along in this set and I'm like, wow, like this team is really, really good. All right. So last battle of the set, I'm like, man, can we go 5-0? Can we go 5-0? Like this is it right here. Like, I haven't gone 5 in so long. Like, this is my opportunity. And boom, <laughs> there is Wigglytuff. The worst thing that I could possibly see. So, I switch into... <laughs> I switch into Jirachi, not thinking that, you know, he would switch out or anything. And he meets me with Galarian Stunfisk. And there's not really anything I can do at this time. I mean... I just play it out just to give him a good run. He goes with Earthquake. I'm like, yeah, that's fine. I'm going to keep my shields. 
So then, I, you know, I pour them all the way down. I use the shield here, I think, to preserve my health and just to form up some more energy. <clears throat> pour them all the way down. Uh, I have a rock slide ready. I know he's gonna shield whatever I throw, um, regardless if it's a cross shot rock slide, it doesn't it, it, it really doesn't matter. So I'm waiting for him to come back in. And then I see like my health just immediately just gets cut in half by this, look at my health. The charm is eating me alive, y'all. Look at this. I can't do a thing about nothing. There's nothing I can do to win this match. There's absolutely nothing. And I just, I let it happen. I was like, you know what, it's over. I, I, I couldn't do it. The only thing that I think that I could have done better is to let my Alteria go down and, you know, let my Jirachi clean up in the back. But that is probably it. I, um, so, but in, anyways, I mean, we go for on one. Um, hey, this is a Dino. Rarely see those. But um, we go for on one, and, and it's cool, you know. And I, I, I mean, I have, I, I enjoy the team. So if anybody else, you know, you think this team can help you out, please most definitely use it. It's there for you, you know. If you have, I mean, Jirachi is a pretty pricey investment. Um, you have to complete the research task to get it. But if you do have one, I think it's I think it's worth it. It has pretty good coverages and it can beat a lot of things. Um, so just let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff that helps out the channel. Um, and I look forward to seeing everyone in the next video.